What's up, guys? Welcome to uh, to my first ever, well, I guess, Tarkov video. In this video, I want to try and uh, try and explain what I've learned from the start of my first wipe because uh, I joined. I think I think I joined in uh, point twelve zero point twelve. So uh, start of November, I um I start playing the game, and um I'm gonna tell you what I've learned, and then what we're gonna kind of go for in the next wipe coming into twelve point six. I think it is right. Um, so yeah, enjoy. So some of the things that I've learned from uh from starting Tarkov, there's there's a lot of things that um that you that you aren't told really. Um now one of those things isn't well, most one of those things isn't ammo charts. Everyone tells you you know, look at the ammo charts, make sure you know your ammo, what's good, what's not, what's good, good penetration, what's good, flesh damage, all that stuff. Um now a lot of people don't tell you that you shouldn't really go for higher penetrate like you know, the the maximum penetration because I think you want a mixture, right? So if you look at these ammo charts, you look at the flesh damage versus the penetration. Um, and I feel like a lot of the times everyone just thinks, oh, well, you know, highest penetration must mean better, right? But not quite. A good example is is the 7 and 3.9 uh, on the, um, the 5.45 ammo because that has massively high penetration. It kind of over penetrates in most circumstances. You don't really want to be running that unless you're like late in the wipe where everyone's running slicks and all that stuff. Um, then maybe that'll help. But usually you want to be running with BS or even BT. BT at the start of a wipe can be really, really good. It's got decently high flesh damage, decent penetration to I think I think okay up to level five um, armor. So I mean early wipe that's that's gonna rip people to shreds. But yeah, ammo charts uh, are misleading slightly, but are still correct. So you know, you just you just got to think about it more about like what balance you want between flesh and flesh damage and penetration. Also, a lot of people will tell you know will will tell you that you want a a map from an external source on your other monitor. So that means um, you know just 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 having a map on from from uh, Wiki. I know Wikipedia from the Tarkov Wiki has tons and tons of uh, of of external maps to use for every single map. So, um, if you're starting off with customs, uh, you want to get up a map on your second screen. If you have a second screen, if you don't, uh, have an iPad or even your phone, I guess, or just alt tab every now and again to kind of check, you know, hide in a bush, alt tab, whatever, check where you are, um, try and recognize landmarks and, and, you know, for, for example, the dorms on customs, if you know where that is, you know, uh, that the other side of the road is the construction, all that stuff. That's one thing. Also, um, using the attack of wiki for guides as well, quest guides going to the new wipe. Um, you will need that. <laughs> you will need that because Tarkov isn't so isn't so hand uh, hand holdy when it comes to quests. It kind of explains it in a big text, and then you're just like, okay, wh what? Sorry. <laughs> so going on going onto the wiki um, has a breakdown of every single quest and and literally the guide to go through it. What keys you need if you need a key or whatever. You know where 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 you can find the certain item to give into a to a to the um to the to the trader. So yeah, wiki is your friend in, in a lot of instances. Um, also using scav runs as much as possible. I feel like uh, that was one thing that, that I did to learn maps. So um, for example, I was trying to learn reserve. Uh, it was rough at the start, but you know, learning all the, all the rooms, what, what, what buildings are good, what, where, where the spawns are and all that stuff. Um, and that moves into my next point. Is um is PMC spawns knowing PM no I, I don't I don't think a lot of people really say this but knowing PMC spawns is so so crucial and that comes with experience right but when you do a scav run you your scav spawns in at a totally different spot compared to your PMC if you were to run reserve on a PMC you'd spawn on the on the outer edges of the map scav you can spawn in in the center you can spawn kind of wherever really like it's you know wherever scav spawn you can spawn as well. So uh, knowing PMC spawns is pretty crucial because then that, that gives you a good idea of, of where people are coming from and when. The interchange spawns are something they need to change or uh, at least uh, fix a bit. You would spawn on the outer edges of the map and then you, you'd have to go in and there's, I think on the, I'm trying to think, the, I guess the railway side in front of, uh, in front of the mall um, next to the, uh, I guess the scav camp and all that, you know, the scav uh, tents. Um, around there, those spawns, everyone's running in. There's like a line of PMCs from each spawn, so around the edge of the map, running in, and it's like if you're in the crossfire, you're basically screwed. You gotta either wait or be as fast as possible to get in before everyone else, right? Um, there's no mid ground. You have to be slow or fast. There's no like I can sort of you know creep my way in. You know I can shoot people left and right. No, you you'll get 
bombarded. Um, obviously, it depends on how how the other PMCs play. Um, they they could, you know, they could do the same thing, or they could they could try and hunt you down, which is uh, which is pretty pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, either way, uh, PMC spawns are so important to to learn. So try and run your PMC as much as possible if you can, if you've got the, I guess the funds for it or the money for it. Um, to to do that. If not, scav run, but you don't learn the PMC spawns, unfortunately. Um, I think they're a pretty, pretty important aspect of the game. And knowing where PMCs can spawn and knowing how that works and, and, and where they spawn and, and I, I guess at what time they'll be at certain areas. I mean, I, I can, I can s say from experience playing interchange a lot, um, I know exactly when a, uh, you know, when a certain PMC is going to come from a certain spawn through a certain area. So, for example, if I'm, if I'm spawning front, uh, I guess front Ollie or whatever, um, towards the, I guess the, what do you call them, like, like, like the highway, um, where the scab tents are, but further towards the Ollie side of things. If if I was to go straight into Ollie, uh, I would then know that the the uh, Emmacom extract spawn around the area would be coming through the back of Ollie usually. So I can I can run in, I can probably dodge some scavs or, or kill some scavs through through Ollie, run in and catch this guy straight off guard. He'll have no idea I'm there. He he'll he won't expect it because who does that? Like what? How would you know that there's a guy? You know that the there shouldn't be anyone in front of you, right? Since you're the first spawn into Ollie from Emmercom, right? But there's a guy right there. You kill him. Then you have the whole of Ollie for free to yourself until someone else comes in from front Ollie and kind of have a picture in your mind of, of how players would move around considering their spawns and where they'll be at certain times. So you can kind of outbrain people and essentially just expect someone when you shouldn't really expect someone, you know? So hopefully, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you... Hopefully you enjoyed um, this. this. is my first kind of Tarkov tip video in a sense. Like I'm not, I'm not the most experienced player. Uh, I'm not a veteran by any means, but I um, I I I think that a lot of the stuff that I've learned from the start of when I've I've started playing Tarkov to now, and knowing what I'm, you know, knowing what I know going into the next wipe, uh, will probably help a lot of players that uh, that might not have the game and of thinking about it going into this wipe. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, if this is some, something you guys would like more of. Um, I'm, I have a plan to do other uh, other videos on different uh, different tips and tricks um, and different things that I've learned throughout my time um, playing this game as much as I have uh, in the past, uh, past few months. But yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, watching and uh, hopefully uh, more to come. Cheers.